Yeah, good evening everybody. So today's topic is, will a ban on junk food help solve the problem of rising obesity? Um, I think uh, uh, the ban, uh, I don't think that should be there. Actually, the, the junk food uh, are having too much of calories. And if we uh, eat in a restricted manner, see, uh, we should taste every, everything. So it is a eatable thing and uh, yeah, we can uh, take it, but not in the large uh, quantity. Because it, uh, if we exceed the, uh, the limit of the calories, then it will definitely, we will be uh, uh, get, gaining fat and uh, it can lead to obesity. So uh, we should, uh, ban is not the solution. We should have control on ourselves. And uh, we should take junk food in in very limited manner, uh, so that it should not harm our body. Uh, that's what uh, I wanted to say. Yes, who will say now? Yes, Visha. Nobody is saying anything, right? You could say something. I am thinking that uh, my voice is not going. Yet. Uh, am I audible? Please say something, anybody. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes, Dilshan. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, today topic is will a ban on junk food help solve the problem of uh, rising obesity? Yes. So, I think. Uh, Ban on junk food uh, does not solve the uh, problem of rising obesity because uh, well, first of all we should try to understand that what is the junk food. Junk food is something that uh, uh, that, uh, that type of food uh, that uh, not good for our health and it is easy to prepare like chowming, burger and uh, snacks, uh, chips. This type of foods are like uh, these uh, type of foods uh, are called junk food and it is not uh, good for our health. So uh, the topic is uh, uh, should uh, ba a ban on, uh, will a uh, ban on junk food help to solve the problem of uh, rising obesity? So I am not agree with that of the things because we should try to understand uh, that uh, which food is good for our health, which food is not good for our health. We should minimize in our daily life. We should minimize in uh, minimize the consuming the consuming of uh, this junk food in our life because these junk food are not uh, uh, beneficial for our health. We should try to uh, consume uh, home remedies, uh, home uh, made uh, food. Uh, that's all. Uh, yes, uh, Dilshan, uh, you are very right. Uh, we should uh, try to avoid uh, the junk food. But yes, once in a blue moon, we can take. It will not harm us. But if we take regularly and uh, we'll uh, exceed our calories, whatever is for our, uh, for our health, and we are taking it on and exceeding the limit of the calories, then it will definitely will harm us. And uh, it will lead to uh, uh, 
to the obesity. Yes, anyone else wants to say about the, about the topic? I think today's topic is very interesting. Why you people are not saying anything? Ruby, will you say something? Yeah, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Yes, Ruby. Good evening. How are you? Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, the topic yes. is... Ma'am, the topic is... We have uh, we have analyzed them to help save the problem of this is in obesity and uh, ma'am I think junk food is processed and uh, food con contents and uh, little to no nutrition and nutrients and uh, often high in sugar and salt and and fa uh, and fat and uh, and junk food are high in calories and junk uh, and junk food is processed are in such uh, such a ways that are that are that are look more attractive and the tasty to eat and so that we can demand and more and more of those uh, which which have which have little or no nutrition and value and uh, are high and uh, are high in salt and fat and uh, eating junk food uh, continuously uh, increase increases the intake and uh, of fat and uh, carbon carbon dioxide carbohydrate and sugar which, uh, which increases the risk, uh, risk of obesity and uh, the heart disease when junk food is very harmful our health and uh, eating junk food uh, eating junk food increases uh, pupils and uh, obesity in a very large amount and uh, in junk food is ran and uh, we avoid and uh, avoid many uh, diseases along with obesity yes the food is not having uh, the uh, this uh, uh, nutrition values junk food is not nutritious so uh, we should avoid it. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. That's all, ma'am. Thank you so much, Ruby. Thanks a lot. Yes, Vishal, will you say something on it? Vishal Singh. Vishal Singh, am I audible? Fine. Mohammed ja uh, Jubair, will you? Oh, he has left. Okay, fine. Yes, yes, Dilshan. Ma'am, ma'am, uh, I want to also add one thing. Uh, many of the time, and uh, my relative and uh, my cousin, I see uh, ma many of people are consuming uh, not junk food. They are uh, consuming healthy food, but they are also not. Uh, uh, they are also facing the problem of obesity. So uh, I think uh, using uh, good food or a healthy food, uh, and uh, if you're not uh, doing exercise and uh, like gym and uh, yoga, exercise, uh, morning exercise and walking, if you do not uh, do this type of activity, then it does not depend on junk food. You consume junk food or uh, healthy food. If you do not uh, do exercise, then you will face the obesity, I think. Uh, yes, whatever uh, calories you are taking, if you will not burn that col with calories, then definitely you will uh, uh, you will become fat and it will lead to obesity. Uh, yes. uh, you are very right. You are very right. 
Uh, be, uh, because whatever you are uh, taking, whatever calories you are taking, you have to burn that calories. So, uh, whatever is required, you should take at that much only and that, uh, that should be burned in your daily routine. So, that is very important. Yes. Yes, Nitesh Rajput, will you Good say morning. something? Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, yeah, will you say something on the topic? Nitesh? Nitesh, I could, will you say something? Oh uh, yeah, Vishal no, saying, yes, 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 Nitesh. No, ma'am, continue your classes. Okay. Yes, Vishal, will you say something? No one? I think we should uh, taste every type of food, uh, whatever uh, God has given us, all the things, eatable things, we should taste that. But we should not exceed the limit. We should be in control. We should taste everything, but we should not uh, become uh, this habitual to eat uh, a particular type of food or um, uh, the food which are having too much of calories. We should uh, take the nutritious food uh, as per our diet and as per our body requirement. Uh, this, uh, the, this will uh, make you healthy and fit and fit. Uh, uh, and, uh, and if you are fit, you will be active. So uh, we should take uh, uh, the, the whatever we are taking our diet. We should it, it should be nutritious. And um, it should be according to our body. So, if we are taking the junk food, then junk food is uh, is having the ten tendency that you will exceed the limit, whatever is required, exceed the limit of your calories, and whatever is required to your body, it 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 is going to exceed if you are eating the junk food because uh, it uh, junk food is a kind of food uh, which uh, tastes you a lot and you feel uh, to eat more and more. Uh, that's why your calories uh, uh, become more, and you will uh, you will uh, gradually you will become fat, and then you will, it will lead to the obesity. So uh, we should avoid the junk food um, as much as we can. But yes, once in a blue moon, we can take it. Yes. Anyone else? Shubham Methi, will you say something on the topic? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I want to say something. Yeah. The topic is that uh, the ban of junk food can solve the problem of obesity. And I want to say that, uh, first of all, we have to understand the, what is obesity. Obesity is a disease like which increase the fat in our body and is also leads to overweight. And there have many causes for it, but uh, junk food is a point which can increase the obesity in our life and so I don't think that only banning the junk food is a, uh, can solve the problem. Junk food is a part of uh, the thing which uh, if we ban the junk food then we can reduce the obesity uh, uh, with a part but uh, we can't completely, uh, completely uh, reduce the obesity uh, because if we ban junk food but uh, we took some unhealthy foods as well like uh, oil and uh, we took butter and many other things then we can't able to reduce the uh, obesity uh, because uh, because there we also take the calories from uh, the oil and butter like things so, I don't think that only banning the junk food can solve the problem of obesity. Yes, Shubhama, you are right. We should restrict the oily things also. But if you compare this junk food and the oily things, the junk food are more, you can say, 
Like it, it, it feels like to eat more and more. If you are start eating, if you had started eating the junk food, then you feel like to eat more and more. But in the oily, the things which whatever you are eating, the oily at a limit, you will then start avoiding the oily things. So that is the difference between the junk food and the oily and butter and all all these things. Uh, yes, th- that is also leading to the obesity if um, if you are taking too much. But the junk food is uh, the is a food which uh, people uh, don't have control on themselves and they wanted to eat the junk food, and they uh, they uh, uh, they are eating a lot. That is the difference, I think. Yes, Baba Bilal, Baba Ahmed. Yes. You want you wanted to say something. Bilal Ahmed, yes. Bilal. Hello. Uh, yes, Bilal. Yes, yes. Please speak. No. Okay, Jiken, will you say something on the topic? Jiken. Yes. Yeah. Will you say something I, on the topic? Um, yes, I will. But uh, uh, some some minutes so that I can think about it. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Who else will say? Yes, Shubha Ma. Shubha Ma Moti. Shubha Ma Moti. Will you say something else? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I told uh, something on that. Now I want to listen from others. Yeah, now nobody is saying something. Vishal, Vishal Singh, I had said so many times, Vishal will say something. He is not saying something. Anyone else wants to add something? No? Yes, 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 Ma'am, I know many people, uh, they are, uh, like, they are uh, not as strong, they are not fat, and uh, they are uh, many times consuming junk food, but they are not affected with the uh, obesity. So, I think uh, uh, m- many of the people are as strong to digest the food. So, is there any genetically Genetically, yes, 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 yes. Some people are genetically strong to digest the peoples. They are not uh, facing the problem of obesity. I think so. Actually, Galsha, the, the junk food is not a nutritious one. The junk food is not uh, having the nutrition. So, uh, this is just a junk. So, if we avoid it, it is better. Because it is not, it is not giving you the nutrition. It is not giving you giving this strength to your body. So we should have it. Yes, ma'am. I want to add something on that. Yes, you remember. Yeah, actually, uh, actually, we have to first understand that why a junk food is become a uh, cause of increasing the obesity. Actually, junk food is, uh, as you said, uh, junk food is a uh, unnutritious food and it uh, it has a large calorie and that's why if when we consume, uh, consume that, then uh, then um, it increases the calorie in our health and also the fat in our uh, body. So, it leads to obesity and we know that obesity leads to the uh, overweight and also it uh, it uh, shorten the uh, lifespan and uh, leads to many diseases and uh, so 
when we do the junk food, we have to do first thing that we have to increase is more uh, exercise or workout so that or do something uh, else which uh, we can our body can burn the uh, calorie which uh, we have consumed through the junk food. So then can uh, the so if we don't ban the junk food but we can increase the exercise after consuming the junk food, then we can and uh, lessen lessen the obesity. Uh, I want to give some example. Uh, I uh, saw in an interview of Virat Kohli that uh, the interviewer asked Virat Kohli that uh, he he ate, uh, he took. So, uh, the chole bhature or not, because chole bhature is uh, a unhealthy food and it is not an unhealthy food but it uh, has a lot of oil and it uh, in in the other part it is a uh, junk food maybe. So, so Virat Kohli said that when he, he cook the junk food then he do the more exercise what uh, he usually do. So, right. He also know how to burn the calorie uh, he uh, consumed through the junk food. So I don't think that only banning the junk food is an uh, is an uh, way to solve the obesity problem. Uh, yes, um, Shubham, I, I mean, we should not ban. I think we should not ban anything because it is in our control what we are uh, what we will eat. So, uh, because we have to, uh, uh, we have to control our body. We have to see ourselves with what is good for us and what is not good for us. So that uh, control we have to take. We have to be responsible to take this control, and we should eat uh, whatever and how much is required for our body. So uh, that's why banning is not uh, uh, the solution. Uh, we uh, the solution is that uh, we should control ourselves. How how much and whatever is required for our body, we should take that much only. And whatever calories we are taking, we, we should burn also. We should do that much activity that they should burn. Yes, ma'am, I agree with you. Yes. Yeah. So burning is not at all any solution. Banning anything is not a solution. Oh yeah, GK, now will you say something on it? GK? No one? Okay, fine. Uh, I think uh, let's conclude our class now. Uh, we'll be meeting tomorrow, okay? With a new topic, a good one, an, an interesting one, hopefully. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, and good night.